tenth birthday, and it's time to start opening the gifts, right? Dad there, aunts and uncles, a bunch of the cousins, even Marty, the degenerate, who's an alcoholic by twelve. Uncle Donald, he hands me this shiny wee box. He's going on and on. Open it, boy, open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major Howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere, Uncle Donny grabs Major Howl and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Room goes dead quiet. Donnie just trucks. Got to surprise the boy on his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Getting booby out there, team. Might want to buckle in. What the hell? Scratch that. Strap your shoots on. I ain't stopping on the island, but this storm might have other plans. You're off to a promising start, Keegan, anyone read me? That's not too promising. Uh, get a beacon signal, though. Could be the others. We all got clear the counter. Hope they're out there. Uh. Where the hell am I? Stitch. What the hell? You're going to Azura. What about the rest of us? Uh, Brooks? Never thought you were a coward. What the hell was that? This place is bringing up some bad memories. Need to get out of here. Hope the others made it. Anybody there? Lieutenant Kaliso, reporting for duty, sir. Glad you made it, soldier. You good? Huh. 
Bit banged up, but I'll survive. Any sign of the outsider? Negative. Kid! You out there? Reunited at last! You made it. Well, thanks to you, Cog. Goddamn maniac kicking me out of a burning plane. Well, outsider, seems like I should get a thank you, seeing as you're alive. You're assuming I want to be alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Teams back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? Let's find a way up to it. Ammo deployed. This looks like a good way out. Come on. <laughs> the plot is complete. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Damn. You did good, kid. Save the three of us. We owe you one. What's next, sir? We need to let whoever's in charge know we survived. Only way to do that is locate the crash site. Hope that radio is intact. I saw the condor go down. That's quite a trail of smoke. Follow the smoke, though. Great. Now what? Ugh. That ends at this pit here. Oh, real observant there, aren't you? Let's find a way. Uh, this looks like a way through, but, uh, hmm. Problem, sir? The back isn't what it used to be. Especially after that crash. Leave it to me, sir. Just need a moment. That dead tree's caught on some vines. The flies are ripped. Heads up! Well done, soldier. Come on, let's go. Bits of a ways down, huh? You got a problem with heights? <laughs> After what we've been through, can you blame me? Looks like the way through here. So, either of you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. <clears throat> what the hell was that? Another reason to find that radio ASAP. God damn. What was this thing? Huge. Bet you whatever killed it was bigger. Well, that is one fucked up plan. There's no way that radio is operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on. Down there. These ruins. I've seen something like them before. My grandmother left the Galagi Islands when she was young. But the photos are from this place. Hell of a way to reconnect with your roots.
Must have flown off the plane. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now we're talking. My dad always told me I was lucky. Lucky as a locust in long pants, he'd say. So that's why you were picked for the mission. Stack up. You never be too prepared for what's coming. I've got ammo. I'll see. more by the minute. You were saying something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? Look, some more supplies. I told you, lucky. What the fuck? A block! Huh, I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Sign of the times, old man. The entire world is infected with them. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. Delivery driver. Award winning. It's done! Get out of the way! Ready to resupply! Watch those leeches! I've got ammo! That's all I've got! Even tougher than the locusts. Well, old man, I for one like our odds. <clears throat> Look at all this. Now we stand a fighting chance. Do you even know how to use half this ordnance? No, do, Grandpa. My dad taught me to shoot. Ah, you'd have liked him, I think. You're quite similar. Soldier? Asshole. You've got to be kidding me! We're clear. What's next, sir? Stick to the plan. Find the wreck. Find the radio. Gotta be a way through here somewhere. Seen them before? Aye. Great. They're blocked. We need to look around. There'll be another way to get to that condo. There's a way through here. <clears throat> Someone give me a hand. <clears throat> That's 
smell again. You ran into it too? <coughs> we gotta get out of here. First the gas, now the smoke. Out to the frying pan. This looks like the tail end. But any luck, cockpit and radio is up ahead. Hey, lucky. Remember? Stand down, soldier. Huh? Quite a literal interpretation. Perfect. Cockpit's on the other side of the door. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Gramps. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? There's a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while. They'll send someone. But if they died in a crash as well. How are your survival skills? Terrible. Delivery driver, remember? That's the way to go. For a robot. Are they scavenging? Whatever it is, they're up to. We need it. Way to go, Grandpa! Right to the point of it! Grabbing this! Find that radio. This thing is absolutely destroyed. Nice spot to build a shelter, though. As we settle down into our new lives here on Hell Island. You might come in handy. Authorization code SJK421. Activate defensive patrol. DVDR1 online. How may I help you? It's a bomb. Sounds like the transponder's fried. I'll take a look. I think I've got it. Ow. Hey, you still there? What? Well, you made it. This is Zach. I'm here to get you. Got a location? On it. Why do we get the feeling that TAC isn't the only one we signal? Jovi's incoming! I think we're gonna have to earn that ride home. Here they come! Don't let them flank us!
we're lucky. They're the only ones that heard us. Slave done. This island could get fucked. Glad to be getting far away from this nightmare. Here's the results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. 
Shared sentiment, soldier. That's why you're here. Best of the best. This here's Hannah Cole. She's my number one on this covert operation. She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. But if we get this right, we could wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG. And through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? He's the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? All right, team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactors. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DBs, but lost contact. The truth is, we needed somebody with access. Keegan, you're up. I'm on. Commissioning sequence initiated by Special Operations Officer, Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait. Corporal? I outrank you? Long story. Alright guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operation. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. must report in with our sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers? Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly does the right people mean? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important COG citizens. Scholars, uh, politicians, celebrities. And which category did you fit in, Gramps? None of the above. Just a goon working for important people. So, what about the regular folk? Just leave them out to be locust chow? It was purely a numbers game. Whatever. This is to save everyone. <laughs> Except the rich, famous, and connected, of course. There should be a final security checkpoint on the other side. All citizens of Sanctum are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin.
Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COG was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol, my ass. <laughs> decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered, has uh, systems. It's in order to it. real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <clears throat> Ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. So after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Reject! Looks like we're time for robots, Hannah. Hannah, cover that swarm shit! Damn it! We sent DBs down to the ventilation system and... Never heard back. Clear! Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cog's shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. Similar minds. Yes, me? First Minister Jin's always been a bit too eager to use robots to solve her problems. My opinion? Find a plot of land far from all cog civilization. You'd be surprised how much better life can be without their constant men. So what the hell are you doing working for? Well, Keegan, I'm a complex man. This panel must be connected to that door. Let's get it open. Let me take a look there, Gramps. Someone installed the fuse wrong way round. Ha! Ah, got it! If the world came to an end, this wouldn't be a bad place to hang your hat at the end of the day. It's a metal tomb buried in volcanic rock. Never said ideal. Ain't no luxury in hard times. That kind of living, safe and secure, is the best you can hope for. Damn, the door's stuck. Leave it to the superior officer, Corporal. 
Just a volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. What's back here? Let's find out. Hey, Mac, think you can take a look at this? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, well, this doesn't look too complicated. Some rejects. Protocol. Initiate heavy gardening. Ammo drop is spent. <laughs> Hannah, we've got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted. Looks like the infestation has affected the elevators. Oh, is this weak gas bomb going to do the job? Yes. Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should? Enough. Let's get down there. Only 18 more levels to go. What's our best route, Hannah? Find the stairs. Oh, and avoid the elevator. Out of range. Wonderful. Below. Ha. 
hostile and limited. Another access console somewhere. <laughs> Supplies are ready. The console looks offline, but I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. Here they come. <laughs> Coming through! Watch it! Stop it! so you can come through. Ventilation closed in subsection 28C. Potential heating hazard detected. Venting subsection 28C. What's that mean? Sanctum, you've got your priorities all wrong! Grenadier! Fight not over! This whole place is working against us! Cut that talk out and stink! Warning. Ventilation station temperature exceeds safe operating protocols. Cooling area. Ventilation station now within safe operating temperature. Proceed. Shit! Bastion! It's protecting the Scion! The swarm doesn't kill us, the climate control! 
Take her advice. Goddamn army. I am sick of your complaint. There's a door ahead, and we're going through it. I want to count. <laughs> Use 
You got some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Lonnie. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. by fucking Egypt, that's what it takes. We all took this mission to make a difference. And we have our orders, outsider. Now, let's make it count. Look, old man, all I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going, this will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie, we almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can you? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count. Brother. Move! Deadly toxin detected. All personnel must vacate safe. Don't stop. That's the fucking kill! It'll kill us too! Keep moving!
so good now, did it? Because you didn't let us deploy it correctly. Enemies crossing overhead. Moving right to flank. Do these war bastards have nothing better to do? The island is on fire, you fucking idiot! Shoot it! We're through! Hold on the line. Blades ready. A grenade.
stick to the plan. Hold these bastards off! longer that goddamn tree gonna hold out. Okay, new plan. Shoot through the roots. On it. It's working. Keep firing at it. Just a little more. Go. That's it. Watch it. Tree coming down. Come on, come on, come on! And we're out of here! <laughs> now that's lucky! Well, everything's a joke to you. Getting pie on the skin of your teeth, relying on your luck. You don't have a clue about working with us. Listen, old man, I don't give a sh- Enough! Carrier up ahead! For nothing. That wasn't the mission. That's your decision. Uh, well, I think we can all agree the mission was a failure. Not if we uncovered new data. Anything? Drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. But how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy? My grand used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Hannah, you prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio. Welcome to Wiley, Scorpio. Once you've propelled in, I'm gonna find a spot nearby. Don't need any more of these last-second rescues. You and me both, Tack. No lab on this one. I like it better already. All right. Let's see what we can learn from the locals. 
What's the plan with the toxin, Hannah? If we obtain some of that nightmare acid from whatever attacked the swarm of the planet, we can combine it with the toxin I was sent from New Hope. Hopefully someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep. I'm working on a solution for that too. Peaceful. Never thought I'd see where my family came from. Even with all the stories and memories she shared, Brad never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Is that... music? Sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hole over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. Hey, you can't just walk in. Just trying to find the quickest way to the hall. So, Hannah, didn't mean to ask. You any relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious, is all. <laughs> Getting the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean, yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about Thrash Ball. I find it tedious. I guess this code. You know I saw him play. But that ain't what I remember him for. Man to legend. A true definition of the cog frontline hero. Yeah, you aren't wrong, Ian. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train is a quiet man. His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more for me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum and education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grunt with a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. I had books out my ass. Interesting. No, oh, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. War? Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? Through Dad. Hoffman had the idea for this. All right. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. <sighs> oh no! Everyone's. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Lonnie. Take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Grand taught me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The 
mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden, but let it not feed. The journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. The fear. Awaken, reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? The feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu. A flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes. The Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Let's head into the village. This way. <laughs> Damn, snipers. Hell, did those bastards get here? How are we gonna handle this? We kill the swarm. Every last one of them. Clearing the way! We don't have time to be skulking around. Come on, let's fight! Nothing wrong with skulking up here. He's stabbing the bastards in the neck. A fair point. Bodies. No sign of the villagers. Where'd they go? They have more use for us alive, Lonnie. Those are the pods here, though. They take them somewhere. A defensible structure. The temple up on the ridge. We can still save them. Let's go. Save the You doing okay, Hannah? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. I just hope we're not too late. Let's go.
There are stories of people who survived being snatched and caught. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple. How did they get to Alehi? Ammo drop is spent. It's done! I want to believe it okay. That we can still help. Come on. Look. In the tree. Collected feathers from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods, though. No bodies. coming from the feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. Yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. But right now, we need to- Let's secure the village. Then? We can go hunting for that Wakatu of yours. One day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same page, sister. Check him out! Yeah. 
you miserable bastards! Scout! Ready to resupply! Ammo deployed! <laughs> Slowing you guys down. You're doing great. A real natural. Wish your dad could see you. The coal train is going to be rolling over Hoffman at full speed if he hears about this little outing. God damn. Look what we've got here. A silverback. I think we can put that wee death machine to good use, eh, Scorpio? Can't move it without power. Mac, this is all you. On it, Keegan. Goddamn messy slot. Who needs ammo? Hey, you bastards! We're here to finish the goddamn lot of ya! Give him hell, Scorpio! Foolish to hope to find anyone alive, but still, 
Wish we could have saved a few of them. But even one. We destroyed this place. All its history. Its people. Goddamn swarm. We're gonna visit the same fate on their entire species. I still don't understand how they got here from Pahanu. Looks like we found an answer, Hannah. The lava tubes. This is how they got here. Lava tubes? Then maybe they're connecting the islands. Hannah, above you! Nothing I can't handle. Pahanu! The Snatcher's going back to the Hive in Sanctum! 
Then we've got to stop it. There it is. Hang on, Hannah. We're coming. <laughs> It's getting away! Take out that pillar! Hara! Get to cover! I need a hand! <laughs> Villagers stole them, potted them, changed them. They wanted to change me too, Keegan. It's okay. We're safe now. We've got to signal Zach. Let him know where we are. Scorpio, I'm seeing a flare on Bahanu. How the hell did you get off of Wailehi? Long story. That is hurt. We need a stretcher. Copy that. Hang tight. On my way. Where... <coughs> Where are we? All the way back on Pahanu. The heart of the hive. Oh, wow. We got swarm coming! Hannah, stay low! who survived being snatched. Uh, yeah. The stories are true, huh? Still there, Scorpio? Stretcher incoming! Uh, sorry I got caught. Messed us all up. Uh, She's on, Tech! Take her up! Hey, you made it out. That's all that matters. It'll take me a bit to secure the stretcher. You guys good for a few? We'll manage. Thank goodness. Honestly, I can't believe she survived. But she did survive. What's on your mind? The Snatcher was taking Hana to the heart of the hive. And we need a more efficient way to get there. Oh, no. You're not suggesting we let them capture us. <laughs> Hold that thought! Swarm's here!
Snatcher? You're serious. We get snatched up. Snatched up and smuggled right into the hive. Then what? There's no guarantee we can survive that. Fair point, but I feel like Hannah and her action science might have an answer for that. Hell, it might work. Get smuggled into the heart of the hive. But we still gotta get out of here first! More swarm on the ridge! And all of their fucking friends? Shit! <laughs> Katsu made quick work of the swarm. I feel good about Hannah's toxin plan. If we can manage to catch that thing. I'm not sure we can do it alone. Agreed. Now's the time to ask Hoffman to bring in some reinforcements. Keegan, this is not a cog mission. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hoffman's gone rogue. It's just us. Colonel Hoffman is a decorated cog veteran. I but just think for a second. The access codes to Saito. If Hoffman's working with the cop, why couldn't he just get his codes himself? That's... Oh, that's ridiculous. Lonnie, you don't believe this, do you? Doesn't make sense. Why would he lie to us? You think I'd join an actual COG mission? That man is used to doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh shit! This way! And another thing! If this was a legit operation, why would everything be so fucking secret? When we got here, we had no clue where we were going! Nick! Not the time! Knew we couldn't shake it for long! Hoffman. 
The first minister rejected my plan to deal with the swarm. She said her damn robots could handle them. So I used my forced retirement to uh, launch a mission of my own. All this time, we were on a goddamn rogue operation? That's right. Look, I know your past, that you've all suffered and struggled, but you've still got that fight in you. Purpose. That's why we're here. It was our lives on the line. The fate of the entire planet is on the line, soldier. I'm not here to save the world. The swarm took my son. Dragged him, screaming, into the dark. I failed to protect him. To fight for him. I joined up to make these fuckers pay. And I planned to die doing it. But here we are. So, to hell with it. I'll live. And I'll fight for what family I have left. I won't stand by and watch more people suffer. Not when I can do something about it. We know how to get to the heart of the hive. All I need is one sample. And you'll get it. But I won't let my brother face this one alone. Wish I could have been there for you, Mac. And your son. But I'm here now. Well, that's it then. Once more into the screaming dark. This is it. Find the Wakatsu. Extract its venom. Get out. Remember, all we need is a sample. Good luck out there, Scorpio. You picked us for a reason, sir. We'll get the job done. You guys ready to walk amongst the ancestors? Hey, the spirit walk, right? So, you were listening. Of course I was. Right back to where it's all begun. Like my ancestors have done for generations. Enter the Fade and walk amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. Ah. I'll be damned. The Awakening. The Wakatu. I'm living out what my parents and grand used to believe was mythology. Just stories. I was in prison when grand passed. Wish you could see me now. It's... None of my business, but... It's okay. We're squad now. You both should know. I fucked up. Deliberately ignored an order. Thought I knew better than everyone else, and someone got killed. My CO. A good man. The truth is, as much as I want to go back, I don't know if there's a spot waiting for me. I know that feeling. Sometimes there ain't no going back. And I'm learning that might be okay. Go! 
Come get your ammo. Lani, what's this? Some kind of effigy. My father used to carve pieces like it from wood. Said they would protect us from dark spirits. Back in the action, having a team at my side. I've missed this feeling of being part of something bigger. I know that feeling too. This way, give me a hand. <laughs> Your old job still uh, classified? No. I can spill. I was part of a brash brigade. Locust cleanup crew. Cleanup crew? Some of the locusts survived the war. We made them disappear. Quietly. So, the emotion countermeasure is over. As far as the public knows, the war ended there. But there was still more work to be done. Ready. Where are they going? story about your rank. Onyx God fought like hell in the war. What would hold up a promotion? That all of us were fighting. I was stationed on Azura, doing basically guard duty. Onyx exiles, they call us. No glory, no rank, and no purpose for all those years. I'm sorry, Keegan. I don't know about all this rank stuff, but what you're doing here, this matters, brother. Thanks. I uh, appreciate that. Hey, little help? Ready to reply? No! 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 Swarm ahead! Back up, team! Clearing the way! Rolling smoke! Hold on the lock! Hunters at the back there! Ammo drop is spare. Heads up, Zion! And he brought his pets. Fantastic! <laughs> That 
That's all of them. Way out is ahead, through those doors. Let's keep going. Help me out. That tree there. He was on the carving in the village hall. It must be the Wakatu's nest. Then we're still on the right path. You know, before all this, I really thought my life was over. That I'd live out the rest of my days in prison. So you joined up when Hoffman's crony found you, hmm? Exactly. Same here. What else can you do when you've lost everything? Ammo's ready! Just there. Stand by. That's a whole damn vulture. A vulture went down on Pahanu? You found 144B. It went down shortly before I arrived on Galangi. It was loaded with the initial DB4s to lead our charge into the bunker. Think we could recruit them to our cause? For the death? They ain't friendly! Why the hell are they attacking us? Not a cog mission, remember? Ah, uh, they must be following their default directives from Hancock property. Nothing we can't handle! Okay. inside. Blades, 
charge. Mac, can you get it open? Not a problem. This will get the door open. Probably gonna run into more DBs from that vulture. Stupid bot. Tell me about it. But what I wouldn't have given for their help when the swarm attacked my village. What happened? A slaughter. Then the terrifying quiet. Even if I wasn't miles from home, I couldn't have stopped it. I wasn't a fighter. You did what you could, Mac, and you lived. If I wasn't such a coward, I would have died with him. Coward? Show me a man sacrificing more than one who's lost their child. I'd follow you into any fight. Thank you. Both of you. Sounds like one hell of a fight going on down there. Should we take a look? What's this? They're blowing each other apart! What do you say we help them out? Open fire! <laughs> This river goes right to the Wakatu's nest. And look at that. There is a board waiting for us. Hey, lucky, right? <laughs> you know it. One hell of a journey, that's for sure. I only got this far thanks to your support. I uh, gotta admit, I was wrong about you, Mac. We both were. Well, I had my assumptions about you two as well. Look at us now! Team Scorpio, saving the planet! <laughs> <laughs> Keep them off the boat! Hoppers on the right!
Maybe it doesn't see us. Monsters overrunning Pahanu. Me too. We're making things right. Purging the swarm from this island. Thanks, Keegan. The clock is back! Grand's final words to me were about struggle. Am I suffering to define the true line? The weak or the strong? I wanted to know which I'd be. She said, live and discover for yourself. That's the journey. I think I would have liked it. It doesn't matter how hard we tried to run from our past. Everything we did led us here. Let us to this island, thousand miles from the war. This time I'm gonna make a goddamn difference. I thought this was my chance to prove myself. To the Brash Brigade, to the memory of my CO. My gran was right. The path of my life will determine who I could become. You brought me home, here, and gave me a new family. That goes for all of us. We survived a hell of a lot to find homes. Looks like this is it. Fear. The Bokatu wants to swarm off this island as much as we do. We should try to get the sample without killing it. Agreed. Be good to see the natural order restored. But he might have other plans.
Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden. Transformed. Light. As the feather. Put up one hell of a fight. You, uh, think it'll live? Yeah, I do. It's a good day. Everyone survives. Ready for this, Scorpio? If I don't make it, I want you to know it's your fault, and I'm gonna fucking haunt you. How's your nerves, Major Howe? Oh, to hell with my anxiety. This time, I'm the surprise. See you on the other side. 